Hello and welcome. As you may have heard, the MEWC UK chapter recently announced, uh, including sharing a free case by Harry Watson, one of the organisers, called a Right Royal Battle, which I'm going to have a go at now. Um, I'm just going to read the, the preamble and then I'll start my timer and see how I get on. Good morrow and welcome to the UK chapter of... <laughs> Harry, you had me at good morrow. That's excellent. Uh, of the Financial Modeling World Cup, this sample case has been written to give new competitors a glimpse into the format. It's fitting that if it were to be a battle, it should be a royal one. And in the words of William Shakespeare and the no less humble MVP Giles Mail, once more unto the breach, dear friends, once more, or close the wall up with our British competitors in the spreadsheet bin. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay. Um, I guess the rest seems to actually be about the case, so I'm going to start my timer while I read that. <clears throat> kings and Queens tab contains a list of the kings and queens who ruled England uh, over some long period. Oh, and some of them had multiple reigns. Some of them died at the end of their reigns, others didn't. That list is shorter than I expected, actually, but okay. And they have a list of battles of... <laughs> um... This author is an amateur historian at best. <laughs> Fine. Uh, all right, the timeline is relevant in level five. Okay. All right, well, let's dive on in. Which royal house did each of these monarchs belong to? All right, so let's, we should make this a table. Uh, let's see, all these merged everything. Monstrous. There we go. <coughs> So we'll go for a light formatting. Uh, and we're just going to call it M, I suppose, for monarch. Okay, so then I want to X look up all of these lovely people. Actually, no, let's just do one at a time so I can check the example. Uh, in M, monarch returning from M house. Hooray. Accession. Ascension. In which year did the following kings and queens ascend the throne? Use the date of their first reign. Okay. <coughs> Oops. X. Look up this in M. Monarch. Returning from M. Start one. That gives some madness. And then I think I just want the right of that four. And that looks good. Work out how many of the battles each monarch fought in. Example, every third fought in this, 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 this. Gotcha. Uh, okay, so every third, I think we're just looking for number of commas plus one. <coughs> uh, oh no, some of them have none. Okay, fine. Uh, so then we're going to say. Um, let battles be X look up this in M monarch returning from M battles then I want len bats minus len substitute substitute uh, bats we're going to get rid of the commas and we're going to get rid of the full stop some less civilized people would call a period, but certainly not a Brit. Uh, and what have I done wrong? That seems like it should be working. Two few arguments for which function? Oh, right, because I've just got a mass of unsplit up stuff. So now the question is, are there any extraneous... No, it all seems like civilized formatting. Okay. <clears throat> For each of the battles listed, work out which monarch fought in them. You may assume that each battle list was only fought in by one monarch. Okay, fine. So we're going to filter uh, M monarch, where is number search uh, this in M battles fought in. And hopefully that will give us exactly one monarch per battle. And we're good. Okay. In each case, state the name of the monarch who was on the throne when the following event happened. Okay. So 
So I'm going to get a year. <coughs> Oops. Uh, here, returning from here. And the tricksiness here, I think, is going to be these second reigns. So I might just do a flat table. Uh, how am I going to do this? 1471 to four. Uh -huh. All right. Um, yeah, well, I'm just going to make a copy of this because I'm going to horribly mutilate it now, but. <clears throat> and then here, 1470. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anybody else in between as a result. I don't, I don't know enough about British history to know if that makes any sense or not, but fine. Um, and then I guess we'll just get rid of everything before the slash so that we just have the year. Now, do we have to deal with the possibility of none? It's happened in a year in which the monarch changed. All right, well, whatever. Uh, so, what is this table called? Let's call this uh, M3. Yeah, that's fine. M3 will do. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to be belt and braces here. I'm going to say filter M monarch, where <clears throat> M start has to be less than or equal to that, and M end has to be greater than or equal to that. And this, yeah, this one's doing 13, 40, oh, this is a, might be a text thing. Uh, is, is this already a number? And are these already numbers? Okay, they are indeed all numbers. So, Mr. Chaucer, what's your problem? Uh, the start has to be, yeah, that is the right way around. Mm. Okay, it's 1343, should be falling here. What's the problem? 1343 is greater than or equal to start. And, it, oh, sorry. Yeah, and it's greater than or equal to that. It's bugging me now. Okay, so why isn't it switching at any point? There's got to be some texty wobbly going on here because. Oh, stupid, it's because I'm using the wrong version of the table. Ah! M3 monarch, M3 start, M3 end. Ugh. There we go. And sure enough, there's only one match for each of those. And it matches the answer there. So. That will do. Bonuses. There is a mistake in the battles column. One of the battles took place after the monarch that supposedly fought in it died. In what year did this battle take place? Note, not all monarchs died at the end of their reigns. LG, fine. So, <clears throat> we're going to filter here. And then we're going to say, mm -hmm. I guess we can regex extract uh, from here. Uh, D4, uh, and all matches, yes, good, um, times one, uh, greater than or equal to that, and we can wrap that in an or. <coughs> Uh, here we are. Yeah, no, there are two. No, no, sorry. Because you come back. Fine. It's 1483 for you, so that doesn't count. But I guess we're being semi manual here, so that's okay. Well, it's true. 1424. Yeah, okay, there we go. So, what is the question? The battle? In which year did the battle play? 1424. Okay, which monarch 
and the list reigned for the longest period of time. And I hope that can be done just on a year's basis. Oops, no, no, I see. Years. So we want the monarch as some. Uh, looks like this is Henry the Third. By a sufficiently wide margin that we don't need to worry about partial years. Okay, and. Which house was involved in the most battles? Return the name of the house. Okay, so I really should have done that battle counting thing as part of the table. That would have been smarter, but never mind. <coughs> I'll bring it over there now. And I'll put it here. Let that be this. Okay, and then we want to group by house, battle sum, and the answer is the, do we want to do the most battles? Yes, Plantagenets. Okay. Uh, I, apparently this case doesn't come with answers, so I have no idea if I got any of these right. <laughs> I'm going to say they seemed kind of plausible. That was a fun case. Um, I, uh, I did... <coughs> look at these and worry that we were going to have to start doing crazy manipulations with uh, with long pre-1900 dates uh, but luckily, apparently Harry was feeling merciful this time so we didn't have to uh, I definitely made a big mess of the data in doing this and I definitely did this in a very hacky manual way but um, oh well that's all I got for today Thanks for watching. See you next time.